Oh, okay. I'm risking it for the biscuit. Because the biscuits kind of sweet. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back here to Ark. So, I just got done finishing with my concavenators. Got my second one tamed up here. And it should hold me out here for a little bit. And on my way back, I spotted a really nice moth. 150, and it's got two stats that hopefully would both hit over 40. So, we're going to go and try and tame it. Now, last time I saw it, it was over in this area. And the way I remembered it is because of that right there, the explorer note that I'm looking at. So, it was there, and then it was like somewhere over in these rocks. So, I wonder if that one's it. That one might actually be it. That is not it. Okay, then. Um, any other moths? There's another one. Are you? No. Huh, or I know you're around here somewhere. I'm gonna go try and find it here. There's a legit dire wolf just stuck on the top of that pillar. I just noticed it right as I was about to pause, but yeah. Um, I'm not seeing anything on my moth. Ooh, ooh, there's another one. That's her. That's her right there. It's got health and stamina on it. It'd be perfect. So, what we're gonna do here is, let's load up my net projectile. Oh my god, watch me net myself. I will be so pissed. Please do not net myself. Please do not net myself. Please do not net myself. Do I even want to do this here? I mean, right here looks like better or nowhere else. So, there we go. Perfect. Let's get it going. It's going to probably take a couple. That's why I'm not hopping off of Gunner. Because hopefully, if I'm doing this correctly, um... We, it will either get knocked out here, or we're going to have to net it again, and hopefully when it goes somewhere else, it will land somewhere safer. I'm going to put one more in, and then we're going to check. Uh, I need a better tool. This is killing you. Oh, this is going to kill you. Oh, I might. I might risk it. I'm going to try and risk it for the biscuit. Oh, okay. I'm risking it for the biscuit. Because the biscuit's kind of sweet. Okay. We're going to let it go here for a little bit. And while it's going, it will actually have some torpor buildup and some health buildup. So that's going to be really helpful here to us. So now... Oh, I would really like to do you right up. Uh, uh, yeah. Not there. You're still yellow. What are you? What are you at? Oh my god! This thing might just pass out. Oh my god! Please do not pass out here. Not here. Not here. God no. Alright, I would literally, if you would go up there. This is the best we're gonna get. God damn it. Oh, did I? They're still alive, they're still alive. We're good, we're good, we're good. We need to be very, very careful. Like, extremely careful. Oh my god. I have done something so stupid. I don't... For a minute there, I thought he passed out and started getting attacked. Okay, 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 okay. Come here. I'm gonna kill this saber tooth and then... We're just going to make sure everything... 
I want clean lines of sight. Oh my god. It looks like a corpse, honestly. Oh my god. I. Oh my god, I nearly killed you. Oh my god, I nearly killed you. I don't like the fact I nearly killed it. Why did I do that? Why? 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 Alright. Um, I gotta get wood here. I need to make spikes. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, double check, make sure there's nothing around it that... Doesn't look like I will lead anything to it. Okay. So, I got me these. We're just gonna... Make us a little fort. Around this. Because I don't like this area. Everything is trying to kill me. Okay. okay. Boom. Okay. That is perfect. This is a nice little enclosed area. This should keep it safe. Let's drag the bodies out. Can't drag that body. Good to know. Um, I don't... You you look like you're going good. I might not even have to use Torpor on you. I only got seven regular kibble. And I can't make any other kibbles because now I'm out of crops. Because all my crops died. I forgot to put more poop in them. So, I need to go do that. Well, next episode, we'll probably be working on crops is what I'm saying. Okay, so it's time to feed it. I let it starve down about 200. Now it's actually really nice out. It looks really nice. Don't want to gamma up. Just the right brightness. It's gonna it's gonna insta tame here. Are you serious? How close are you? <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna starve down a little little bit more. Oh, I'm so close. I should have I knew I should have waited for three hundred, but the lighting was just so perfect. And would you look at that? Came back and it's done. Perfect. So, I'm going to get him cryoed up. And then we are going to... I'm sorry, I'm stretching right now. My body hurts. I have to stretch. But we're going to get him cryoed up. We're going to go to the base. And we're going to look at him in the daylight. Because it got dark real quick. This man wasn't quite center of the map, but he was kind of in right in between red and blue obelisks. So, I think green is like the farthest one out of all of them from each other. I think green's like further from red than blue is from whatever. It might be that. Or blue might be the far. Blue looks like it's the furthest from all of them. Okay, it's daytime now, but that right there... Those stats, that is perfect. Alright? That is perfect. I mean, I really don't know what else I would go for in them. I mean, I guess I just need a dummy male now to breed her, breed her with. For, like, stats and all that. I mean, I could go for a male with melee. Honestly, I could try and find one. There's a lot of 150s on this map, but these... Honestly, I've been trying to kill all the bad ones. I think there might be a good mail over by green. I might be wrong, but I'm out of time for today for recording. So that's going to be it. So I will catch you guys next time.